Me had to do from my is Nicole and welcome to another video. I haven't filmed in a while and I haven't loaded in a while, so I'm sorry for that, but I'm back to filming again, hopefully. And also my hair looks quite dark because I've been in the shower and it's still a little bit wet, so ignore that. As you can see, I am barefaced. And that means that we are going to be doing something with makeup. Obviously. I'm actually going to be doing a makeup challenge today. So what I'm going to be doing is the full face using one palette makeup challenge. Before I start this video, make sure you like, comment below video suggestions because I really have video ideas and subscribe for more videos from me and click that notification bell for a notification whenever I upload. But without further ado, let's just get into the challenge. So for this challenge, I had an hour to sit down, look into my palette, see what I had. And the palette that I ended up going for was the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. This is what the palette looks like. I've had it like for not that long. But this is the palette that I will be using for my full face. And I have already primed my skin with the Soap and Glory Speed Pump All Day Super Moisture Marble. This has been one of my favourites and it's a really good moisturiser because I know it's going to be quite drying on my skin. I chose this palette because it has quite a few different like variations of shades. Like it's got like your light ones, your neutrals, your yellow, your pop colours. But also this palette is pigmented. Like I'll swatch this for you here. Ooh. Ooh. That is pigmented. Look at that. Oh my god. But yeah. I don't even know where to wipe this now. So I'm going to have this on my finger in all the videos. So I actually have wipes. So I'm going to be using my Real Techniques buffing brush and I'm going to be using, I might mix these together because one's a bit darker but these are not matte shades which is quite annoying so I'm going to have a glowy base today so let's try, oh yeah I'm going to have a really glowy base. Also as you can probably see I have quite a bit of redness so this will probably not cover it all. In fact, let me get some cat ears. Right, so I've got my cat ears on just so my hair is out of my face. And I'm going to carry on with my foundation. So I'm just going to mix these two shades together and just sort of buff it in. But yeah, that is my foundation done. Oh, I've got lots of them in my eyes. So now I'm actually taking the lighter out of the two shades that I use for my foundation on this uh, on this mermaid brush. I'm just going to use this as a concealer and brighten up my under eyes and conceal where I would conceal. Even though this is not really working. This should be a full face using highlighter Next I'm going to do my contour and bronzer and all that stuff so I'm using my Estee Lauder Borsha brush which I like using for my bronzer and stuff and I think I'm going to take a mix of these like three here and I'm going to mix them I think that's my bronzer done, it looks so bad. I think I'm going to add a bit more definition to my cheeks with my Morphe M557 Detailed Contour Brush and I'm going to take the darker shade of what I used for my bronzer and then just chisel out my cheekbones a bit more. Not gonna lie, 
this bronzer and contour looks just a little bit orange but we're gonna have to work it so that is my bronzer and contour it's looking really bad and unblended but just gonna have to work with it because this is really all I can do <laughs> next I'm moving on to blush and I don't really know what to use for blush. I might mix a bit of this ready shade with this rose goldy shade up here. So I think I'm gonna try that. So tap a bit on. Tap the excess off because this is pigmented. Oh, I've just got it on my actual palette. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna I'm gonna go in my foundation brush again. Okay. Next, I'm moving on to my eyes, and I just wanted to do something different with us. I'm going like weird on the face, so eyes shouldn't be that hard. So I'm just taking these two transition shades up here, which I used in my bronzer. And I'm just taking them in my crease. And now I am putting in my crease a bit of this shade here. You can see it's this ready shade. The one I used in my blush and I'm gonna mix that up with a bit of this shade here as well and just deepen up my crease a bit and put this on my outer lip. This look, I didn't actually mean it to go like that, but yeah, now I think I'm just gonna add some shimmer and I'm going to go in with this gold shade over here and just apply that with my finger. It's a gorgeous shade, and just apply this with my finger on like my Now I'm just gonna blend those shadows together with that ready shade that I used on my eyes. So <clears throat> now I'm just gonna take a couple of those shadows under my eyes. So I'm just gonna take the two browns and then I'm taking the red again. Taking that under my eye. Now I'm taking the shade that I used on my concealer on my inner corner just to highlight it I'm also taking it on my brow bone for that brow bone Why I? so I'm just gonna spray my face with this spray like so and I'm looking even more glowy and um I'm gonna move on to my highlight using my Morphe M501 brush. I think I'm gonna use this rose goldy shade over here mixed with the same shade as my concealer. So I'm just gonna highlight even more with it. Just we can have a blinding highlight. That is my highlight. I'm looking even more glowy than before. And now I'm just going to curl my lashes and put on some mascara because I don't really want to use like black eyeshadow so I'm just using my Benefit Roll Lash because I'm going to apply that on my lashes so I've got my done that. So they are my lashes. 
lashes that I've just put some mascara on and now I'm going to do my lips and this isn't hard but what I'm going to do is just put on some Carmex, this is the lime twist flavour and then just apply and do whatever I can with these so let's give this a go. <laughs> So this lip sort of failed because I tried to apply that red shadow and it's looking really bad but anyway I need to hit my cat in out and this is the finished look with one makeup palette so yeah I'm not really exactly proud of this look and I bet you're probably not either but um this is what I achieved I'm not really a big fan of the eye look even though that should have been the uh, like easiest thing to do but yeah, that is the finished look with the Jaclyn Hill X Multi Eyeshadow Palette. I've just got lipstick on my nose. But, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment video suggestions below, because I really have few ideas, and subscribe and click that notification bell. It will mean a lot to me, and yeah, if you want to see more challenges like this, make sure to comment that below. And check out my social medias they are on the end card and in the description below i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time goodbye Like I'm burning your house down, I'm probably burning your screen right now.